All right, Big Man, it's the rundown. It's Wednesday. It's April 20th from Chicago, presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Um, New Amsterdam Vodka was born from an uncompromising passion for great vodka. This commitment to excellence enabled New Amsterdam to produce vodka of superb taste and unparalleled smoothness. New Amsterdam is a premium 80 proof vodka made from made from some of the finest quality grains from America's heartland. It's five times distilled for unparalleled smoothness and filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. New Amsterdam vodka is slightly sweet on the palate, smooth enough to drink on the rocks and mix as well with juice and soda or make a classic New Amsterdam mule. New Amsterdam vodka is the official vodka of Barstool Sports. I don't know who wrote that, but they uh, they hit all the bases right there. That was definitely that was nice. did. Yeah, I, telling me you're passionate about the vodka you're making makes me very interested in the vodka that you're making. I'm passionate about vodka too. Yes, I mean just you know three times you know a crisp finish, mm. finest quality grains, uh, superb and unparalleled smoothness. That's nice. It is smooth. That is it nice. Is smooth. Is it unparalleled? I haven't had anything as smooth as that, so I would say, have to say from my own experience, yes, that is an accurate. By definition, yeah. yes. Yep. Absolutely. So go get some New Amsterdam vodka. Uh, first topic of the day, the NBA playoffs, the Pelican Suns. Um, the highlight here uh, was a video or a gif or a gif, however you want to say it, of Devin Booker dapping up a baby after uh, you know he exploded for 31 points in the first half. Uh, Carl, what do you got on this? Hey, listen, my my old my older brother just had a baby. I'm, I'm I'm kind of in still in like baby mode and stuff like that. Is that your first niece or nephew? The fifth. Oh, well, but shit, <clears throat> never mind. We love them all the same. We love them equally. I think that's a challenging thing with kids having to love the kids equally. We love them equally. Who brings a baby to a playoff game? I just I it's a cute moment. I just can't get over the fact the guy holding the baby. It's like man. I you know, gotta pay for that seat too because right. that like, was courtside. No, no way. you strap that baby to your chest. Yeah, so can you walk in there? <laughs> two things on this. One, my dad initiated this rule, even though he did break it. I went to a game at Old Comiskey. I don't remember it, but um, he said after that, like you have to be able to like go and get a fucking bag of peanuts on your own if we're ever going to a baseball game from this yeah, point nightmare. forward. Children, Nightmare. children to a sporting event sounds awful. Absolutely. It would ruin the entire experience, especially a playoff game courtside. You're dropping a fuck ton of money. Like, I want to be able to zone in on the game. I, I like to think that this guy just couldn't find a babysitter. He's like, well, I'm not missing the game, so fucking you're coming uh, with that, me. Yeah. I, I hope that is the, the reason for it. Um, it could be single dad. could be tragic circumstances. Mm-hmm. You know, what could, you know. And I got I was talking to a couple guys on, and this is a little bit of a tangent, but um, on Twitter the other day, uh, dog day at baseball games. I love my dog more than anything. If you bring a dog to a baseball game, you're a huge fucking asshole. I that think, was a great event when I took Scotty Pup in. I think that do would be fucking miserable. Great. Dogs mm-hmm. fucking going nuts over each other and humping each other and pissing and shitting all over. That'd yeah. be awful. No to dog guy, Dave. Yeah, I I I think it's fine if you're, it's like a minor league game. Yeah, Who cares? I but think it's a great cool game. I think it's an awesome event. I think a lot <laughs> of people can rally around it. I think people who hate it have a problem with them and probably hate dogs. So probably. I agree. Uh, my take here is uh, the baby didn't do the fist pump. The fist bump. It's it an was, assist. Uh, it was know, an, yeah. That's a big point in a baby's life when they could start doing high fives and start doing fist bumps. It's not. It's fraudulent. Oh, you it wasn't real. The dad. Well, yes. I mean, like. He supermaned him into Devin Booker's fist. Sure. Well, like, like fake, how do you how, call it off? How do you get babies to develop? You're just not going to talk to him until he learns how to use real words. I just you know what? You, you're in those stages. You, that's a high pressure situation. High, you know, you got to get it done. <laughs> Teaching moment. Yeah, I don't, I don't, you know, he'll learn from that. He'll learn. Okay. So that's that. Mm-hmm. Next thing here, there was uh, TikTok influencers who were paid two thousand dollars for tickets to a fashion brand's Coachella event. Uh, and ended up like a fire fest situation. Empty parking lot, people passing out from heat exhaustion, allegedly. Um, Chief, what do you got here? It's only a matter of time. I feel like Coachella is one of those like fake things that I've just... I hate them. I, it's, I hate them because I'm not hot enough to be there. I, I kinda, think... No, no, no. You, it's only because of what you see, though. I think there's probably a lot of white trash at Coachella. Coachella. Maybe I, every, I don't know about the only that. thing I see on on Instagram is just like fucking models and cool yeah. people, and I'm not that. I wouldn't even know what to do. I so I kind of like I I'm like ah fuck. I good, embrace good. being uh the we'll call it the horny guy on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Like I follow the hottest girls on the planet on Instagram. Like you and shout I a couple don't. Of them out? I think this girl Emily Tanner is like the hottest <laughs> girl I've ever seen. 
I had a little rule I made for myself that if I see an Instagram model at Coachella taking these stupid fucking poses, I don't unfollow you. I couldn't do it with her, though. Oh, okay. A couple of them, others, mm-hmm. but her specifically, she is like... She's an outlier. The rules don't yeah. apply to her. N- yeah. None do. Ever. Yeah. Tough I would situation love to see her like, the, get pulled over by a shuttle bus. There's a shuttle bus situation here, too. Mm-hmm. You know, I know you're a shuttle bus guy. Uh, it's just never, uh, it's always a tough situation when the transportation is not what it was supposed to be. Yep. Right? Because that's something you really bank on. Yeah. Like I a mean, lot you of things specifically, and I also mean people in general, like the transportation, just not just transportation systems, just transportation generally at 30,000 feet is something you have to be able to count on when you get up in the morning. Like everybody knows, like if you take a bus or a train to work and then it's 40 minutes late, like that's a day ruiner. Ruins your like day. Imagine like if you paid money for this shit, like that's even more infuriating. Um, I think a lot of people are just excited to dunk on the TikTokers, but I mean, Coachella, I feel like your, your favorite quote is, uh, the road to hell was paved with the best intentions. Yeah. Um, like Coachella was probably a, a cool event, like great music, they have great artists to perform there, but what it's turned into is just, is tough. And I don't know if it was always like that. I Maybe think it, it was it's social media probably. And that's yeah. like, yeah. it's just like, that's the thing. Like you hate it so much. But at the end of the day, it's probably a cool concert. See, but I'm it's just the not, people that yeah, like no. change it and like change that's the vibe. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm You're judging to get these people. Teeth. You don't know these people you're judging, by the way. Oh, I don't care. I will judge mm-hmm. like completely. Um, but I think that's just what you see. I mean, you have you been a Lala? No, I've never been a Lala. Have you been a Lala? I have, but it was a long time ago. No, but dude, Dave, I think it's so expensive where I don't think it's like that, like rough and rugged as you think it is in the i i mean the, the cheap festival seats. going crowd especially with now that i do the music yeah, but show i don't think A-Wall festival f- going crowds like i don't think it's the big ones are like they're out on like they like the underground shit you know or they still like their bonnaroos and bonnaroos is massive but like Been they still Bonnaroo. like it where it's just not over fucking influencered yeah right i think it's just what you see though I don't know. Look Would in you, the background of those pictures. Just look at them. Dave, why don't, why don't we go on a, I, on a trip next year and we'll get to the bottom of this. I would like to you see that. I don't know. What, you two should go to one of these I, I with an been, open actually, mind. Actually, I was offered credentials for Bonnaroo this year. And why didn't you go? I, I got too much shit going on this When month. is it? I think it's this month or May, uh, next month. You should go. Um, I've been twice. I saw Jay Z there, and I saw Springsteen there. I think it's one of those things. It's cool. supposed to have gotten pretty tough now. Yeah, this pretty is probably bad. like 2009, something like that. Oh, 2010. That's a long time ago, yeah. Yeah. How so? So I thought it was supposed to be awesome, right? You go there, bring the cooler, you get the like the tent spot, but it's become so popular now, and the surrounding area, like the infrastructure for it, isn't good enough for how much attention it's gotten. Or for it's, Coachella? It's just, no, no, no. For Bonnaroo. For Bonnaroo. Um, Sadly, everything gets ruined. I, I It was a shit show back then, but I was dating this girl whose sister lived in that town. It's either Winchester, or Manchester, Tennessee. So we would like run a beer garden or a, a beer tent for like two or three hours. And then just like you're in and then you can go home and get out easily and shower. You come in the next day. You know, that's like the way to do it. So mm-hmm. you're sleeping in like a normal bed. You're not like in the masses. You're able to have a clean shower, feeling good. So. Uh, and I actually made a little bit of money doing that. So, nice. yeah, so that, that's I think that's like the best way to do it, but it obviously not available to outdoor festivals. What about Walking Man? Burning, Burning Man? Man? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Burning Man. Would you guys um, do that one? I don't I think that's not even Have you been? That's not about music, right? That's like a rich person thing and it's like a spiritual experience or something. I think okay. they got music. Or did there. I make that up? Yeah, maybe there's I the think. other there's the I other thought one. thought that's like we're like Jack Dorsey and like all those fucking I think you're thinking weirdos. of Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. That's Joshua like a, Tree is like a place a out in the park. It's out in the desert, but people go to Joshua Tree to like do drugs. Now, Burning Man, you go and you like surrender your possessions and you create this like, it's like its own subculture and economy or something where you like trade goods and basically, you just do a bunch of hallucinogens in the middle of the desert. I'm looking uh, for the Wikipedia. And it's like a place for artists to display really progressive yeah, sculptures, I'm I suppose. A lot yeah, of nudity, a lot trying. of drugs, a lot of sex. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a little different. That's a little different. Or the Gathering of the Juggalos. That's a fucking weird one. <laughs> Didn't somebody make... Did, I respect those. Though. Who went those there from, from Barcelona? Yeah, those Cat people Tim. are just... They're trying to fucking have fun. Yeah. You know? Tweet your own. So how do you... You can't really hate on that if, and hate on Coachella. Like, you got to pick one or the other. 
I think I mean that's SoCal different. crowd too. Yeah, and where's no? Where's, it's uh, not SoCal, bro. It's in fucking downstate Illinois, in like Indiana. I'm talking shit. about Coachella. Oh yeah, okay. But you're, I, I'm saying there's a big difference between Coachella and yeah, yeah. One's yeah. for yeah. the fucking the glitz and the glam and the pictures, and yeah. one's for like, hey, I'm just here to get fucked right. up and exactly. have a good time listening exactly. to music. Yep. Um, so. I'm just reading up on Juggalos right now. Yeah, Shaggy, be... Shaggy Two Dope, and uh, I forget the other guy's name. What is this? You never heard, uh, never heard ICP of Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. I know Insane Clown Posse. Yeah. I know that they were like cool. Well, yeah. these are their guys. Yeah, twenty yeah. years running, yeah. something like that. Yeah, it's actually impressive. Uh, all right, next topic here: Debo Samuel. Um, out of nowhere, he has uh, reportedly asked for a trade out of San Francisco. His brother commented on Facebook, "Don't worry, we we're asking for a trade." All right, this is it. People, let's move. Let's go, 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 go. Uh, White Sox, Dave. You know where he's going, right? Where? Bears. I think he's probably going to wind up in Green Bay. You think so? Yeah. Not that it matters to the Bears because they're going to be fucking terrible next year, but... They're just going to move around the capital that they got for Devontae and move Yeah, to I, I mean, I, I don't <laughs> get how it all works in the NFL. We were kind of talking about this prior to hopping on, like, money. And, you know I don't really, but I, it just makes sense to me. Uh, they need that number one, and he's a fucking stud. Is anybody rubbed wrong by the brother breaking the news and saying we? Like, nah, I mean, that's pretty common. I, we, I like, we live the Reggie Rose. Yeah, I know. No, I, I, I didn't. I didn't like, like it then either. Yeah, but I'm just like. I'm just sure. saying. Is he the yeah, actual rep? Bothered, for, yeah. Is he yeah. his yeah. rep? So he works on the team, then I guess it works. Yeah, that's training. the only way it works. These are big brands, man. This is so. I guess I'm used to it. Yeah, I. That's my point. But like, if you if you work. For Debo Samuel and you're repping the brand, a Facebook post saying we asked for the trade, you're not good at your job. Say that. Yeah, I, I, Carl, anything? Sorry, it was Yanni. Debo is a na- is a great nickname, and I, I would love to right have right. a Debo. I know Debo, that's what we call Demar, but it's not as like full like come on Debo, like mm-hmm. that's just a great fucking name. I, I thought would that like was the- his name, it's De- Debo Samuel. Yeah, that's it's his name. Tyshawn. Is it? Yeah. Well, we call him Debo. Because I looked it up this morning when I saw the all this news break. He should be allowed to it's have Tyshawn Debo on the back of his jersey. It's such a good name. Yeah. That is a cool name, yeah. I'm stunned that he wants out. Like, Kyle Shanahan, like. Maybe he thinks Trey Lance sucks. Maybe, yeah. But at the same time, you're, you're just, there's not many fucking offensive guys you could trust in this league, I feel. Kyle Shanahan's one yeah, of them, in my opinion. Like yeah. they put him in an awesome situation. Like, like they did everything with him. Yeah, he had such a fucking dynamic like position, p- dynamic season. Mm-hmm. I'm a big fan of Debo Samuel. But yeah. maybe he's like, dude, I'm sick of playing running back, and I'm sick of playing. Like, let me get a little, pe-. you know, like he he might look at the rest of the league and be like, I don't want to be this guy getting beat up like this. Could be a financial move yeah. because you know you want to be cl- like categorized as a certain position group or whatever but and, and maybe he looked he saw what Tyreek Hill just got and he sees some there's some yeah. similarity like he's thicker but like yeah, you don't want to get running back money. yeah be like, right. yeah, go draft yeah, the fucking running receive. back stop asking right. me to carry the ball on yeah. second and seven and you know this is all right this this is all yeah, making these sense yeah. these are like fucking he's sick dude he's great he's sick. Marshall yeah. uh Marshall Falk numbers yeah he's sick 1400 receiving yards 365 16 touchdowns he's awesome yeah, yeah. he's awesome he's awesome, awesome. I remember, yeah, cause remember Jimmy Graham, like back in the day when he was trying to get paid. He's like, like, no, oh. I'm a wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, tight ends were. Yeah, yeah. So it was. Yeah. Maybe this is like calculated in that way. This is a little bit unrelated, but I we have a, a draft coming up, and I was looking up just like old NFL NFL drafts. Do you know that Dalton and Kaepernick were in the same draft? That seems like it should just like it, to me. Like Dalton seems like ten years older than Kaepernick. Six, 2010. Oh yeah, uh, ten or eleven, something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, Kaepernick's been around for that long. Um, it was the Packers that Kaepernick chewed up right in the playoff game. Mm. The 49ers always had the Packers number, so sounds right. They he yeah that mm-hmm. was I remember watching that. I want to say I was in college. I watched that, so that was ten years ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, last topic here, Dave. You're gonna love this one. Garrett Cole. He pitched his shortest game ever, an inning and two thirds. Um, and an Angels broadcaster. He 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 bit on a fake story that uh, <laughs> that said that Garrett Cole was going to give away 600 free MacBooks 
to a New York school if he pitched two or more innings. <laughs> and uh, the troll was in reference to uh, Scott's Tots. Was that it? Yeah. Th- yeah, yeah. Scott's Tots in mm-hmm. the office. Um, White Sox, Dave, you're not an office guy, but you'll enjoy the story. I, I did not understand that reference, so I'm glad you cleared it up for me. Um, I There's this guy I talk to, and I intentionally don't follow him on Twitter, but I converse with this guy constantly. Um, he's a Yankees fan. His name's Roscoe or something. Um, I have been very on the record over the last two years since before the 2021 season that the Yankees' starting pitcher was Garrett Cole and four question marks. That doesn't mean that they're starting pitch. If even at, at the time, it could have gone Garrett Cole and then their two, three, four, five, first through fifth in the Cy Young voting, and I still would have been right at the time. Yankees fans were down my fucking throat chewing, chewing me up for that. I said at the end of last year when I did that little rant video when they got eliminated by Boston in the one game playoff that Garrett Cole is a sunk cost. I don't like they're in year two of his eight year, 200 and whatever million dollar deal. Three hundred million dollars, whatever it is, it's a lot of money. Eesh. That's not going to look pretty, I don't think. He, I, I don't see him aging very well. Carl. Yeah, I mean, I, just a sad story to see Garrett Cole become such a pussy. I said it on Hot Ice the other day with Rico, and I'm like, he's obviously a generational talent. You'll see where he can go, but fuck, man, him in front of the media, and they're like, "What's going on? What's going through your head?" You come out of the game, and he's like, uh, just four letter words." He's just he's not tough enough to be mad enough to do it. He just is just a wet bag. I feel bad for how much of a pussy he is. It's an amazing story. Six hundred MacBooks, the bite. Like it makes me <laughs> yeah. want to get into the prank game more. And I feel like amongst the four of us, Eddie probably is the best brain for pranking. And like, there's a market for stuff like that. People want to see good, wholesome pranks like this. Like, that we need more. This was a good one. That's why, like, I I want to keep Eddie away from Nick Tarani because I feel like together there would be like a diabolical prank mm-hmm. force, and then the you Dave know, would be Dave would be uh, looking a over big his, target on his back. He'd be looking over his shoulder more than Tony Soprano. That's for sure. He would be for a good reason. He would be in the he would for be very in the line good of sight for sure. Um, my take, it, you know, I can't think of Garrett Cole and not think of Hubs, and that the evil empire is back, baby. That video he yeah. did on the overnight. <laughs> the evil empire is back, baby. Garrett Cole is a New York Yankee. Evil empire is back. You have no fucking chance ever again. The Yankees might go in as a fucking minus one thousand World Series favorite next year. The evil empire is back. Batten down the hatches. Hide your fucking children. The New York Yankees are coming for every World Series. We didn't win a World Series last decade. Guess what? We're going to make up by winning every single year in this decade and the decade after that. Everyone's fucked. Poor hubs. Hmm. Like, that's just like he'll Don't never. Don't say poor hubs. Don't say poor I like... Yankees fans in any but aspect like, of life. I actually, f- I actually like hubs, but I feel no sympathy no. for him. No, I know, but like. But for anybody who just felt that much joy and that much optimism and that much, this is it. That's this what makes sports great, go. though, Ed. I know, but seeing like. Seeing people you like just get their like, fucking hearts ripped out of their chest. He's got, and, and yes. But most of the time you're watching them stand in that batter's box, you know, metaphorically speaking, and just take a pitch and then move it off. He's going to be in that batter's box taking that fucking lump for years, dude, with that contract. It's yeah, it's so bad. bad. It's bad. It's so bad. The I mean, he's still a empire. good empire. <laughs> That's such Evil a funny empire video. Is back, baby. But he's one of those Yankees fans, and Yankees fans have this like large population of fans, similar to White Sox fans, Cubs fans, not so much, but they're just like super, super intense. Where he's waking up thinking about the lineup card and thinking of getting mad about the AAA roster and stuff. And Dave, you and him on that front are very similar, passionate guys. I, I. Who knows more I about baseball? I wish that Hubs was just – I wish his last name was like Hubbellini and he was overweight and weared fucking beaters and had greasy hair. He's not any of that, so it makes it a lot more difficult to hate him as a Yankees fan. I want him to be Ooh. like the prototypical scumbag greasy Yankees fan. Well, I think there's two camps. I think there's that, and then there's people like Hubs. I think, oh, you well, know, of course. Yeah, like, yeah. The, but you know, not, like the, there's two, like the to journalists me, yeah, like, come on. There, there's two stereotypes, and he definitely fits doing? the other one. Like, he's not going to have the gold chain and the wife beater, but he is in the other camp. When where, you had the guy on the from the, the Army on the DPS, was that a week or two ago now? Yeah. Uh, it broke my heart that he was doing that as kind of it like a shtick. Yeah. 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 That broke my heart. Yeah. Because I saw that picture. I was like. 
I loved it. <laughs> Bingo. You. That's him. Like they all, the yeah. whole internet did it. Yeah. And he's like, oh yeah, playing it up. He's from Georgia. Georgia, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't even really care about the Yankees. I was fucking, I was disappointed. Yeah. It, good. That's one of those. Good th- stick, though. That's one of those things where it's like it makes you miss the internet circa 2008. Because, like, we never would have, like, we would have just had that picture on Twitter. We would have circulated, but we never would have, like, found him. And now it's just, like, within within a day, like, the mm-hmm. the greatness of that picture is And gone. to these radio guys, I mean, it's not far-fetched that someone's going to donate 600 MacBooks, but. Two innings, like you got, you got to see. Come on, that. what is that? That's twelve grand, you gotta or one hundred twenty grand. I, I, don't I, don't I don't know. Do the zeros for me. Yet. Well, I don't know what a MacBook costs. Yeah. Two grand, right? I don't know. I think it's like half a million dollars. There we go. Whatever. Um, so yeah, Garrett Cole. Um, Garrett Cole should still just get do well it. Well, yeah, soon I guess he should. Just he do makes. It. Uh, isn't it like one hundred twenty thousand dollars per start? I don't know. It's something like that, or a hundred. Th- yeah, thirty six. So say he starts thirty thirty times a year. He makes thirty six million. That's about a, a little over a hundred thousand to start. You wouldn't take twenty five thousand dollars to start for the Cubs tomorrow. We were talking about this the other day. I don't. It would have to be life changing money. Like but to, like, but to be fair though, like I fall off the face we of the earth. We had a big life changing money, and we could do this for the after show now. We had a big like conversation about life changing money, and it's not very much to you. It respect this is the, yeah. I mean, it's it's relative to everybody, obviously. Mm-hmm. Would you um, say ten grand? No, not not anymore. No. At one point, yeah. Well, your whole thing was like... If I could clear my debt, yeah. and now that includes a house, student loans is like 45 I got left. Uh, that's 400 right there. Um, car, like, there's four, 400. Just wipe everything clean, start from zero. You'll always yeah. be chasing a dragon, though. But, yeah. like, that's, like, that to me is crazy. Like, I would suit up for the Blues if I could play in an NHL game. You would? Fuck yeah. To be a professional athlete, to like have a genuine like moment, it wouldn't change like my fan. I wish I was good enough to play baseball to pull an Eli Manning. Because like if like, like the Cubs, I, yeah, like you can draft me. I'm not signing. Go ahead, try it. Yeah, waste your time. Yeah, I I think like that would be sick to be a pro athlete. And if any basically any team was like, yeah, we're gonna give you like a genuine shot, then yes, I would do it. <laughs> I yeah. would go back to hating him the next day, but I would in that moment I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, I want to play in the NHL." <laughs> Eli Manning is like a right fielder. <laughs> well, he did that. Who the was it? The Colts drafted him. You're talking about John Elway. I no, I, Eli Manning did it too, didn't he? Yeah, he got drafted by he got drafted by San Diego. Or San Diego, or San Diego yeah. had the first pick. Blah blah blah. And, then and they, he said he wasn't gonna. Like, right, so they flipped him and they got right. Rivers that's and, what it was. Yeah. yeah, but like you, you, I think you conflated two different stories. Something. So, yeah. I knew I was directionally correct. Yeah. <laughs> um, anything else? Uh, we can't really speak on it. The dozen live show. Yeah, watch was, it tonight. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. check it out tonight. The crowd was awesome. YouTube. Atmosphere was yeah. wild. <laughs> it was cool. High cool. were flying. Uh, it was it was an awesome time. It was great. Um, I, I think shout out Jeff D. Lowe. Yeah, yes. Jeff does a great job. Thank you, High Noon. That was a great event. Uh, it was just cool. It, honestly, favorite part of the whole thing. I think Chief said it was like the guy. Uh, it was something. Ch- now we're confabulating. It was what you had said at the f- uh, at the photo shoot about the guys hanging out in the locker room, the green room before yeah. the show when there was like all sixteen of us were just hanging around. Mm-hmm. Like having it's a couple called, beers before like the, the game, boys. chopping it up. That, yep. was, that was fun. Yeah, it was. You could kind of hear the the audience. Like we a rumble. Like the basement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was, it was cool. like a It was like a rock show. Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of weird to think of it, yeah. Dom, I, I mean, I mean you, uh, you throw on the gas mask tonight? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, Mike. I can't tell you Carl. the last time yeah, I was no, smoked weed. Hit the gas mask. Yeah, I'll, I'll smoke, yeah. definitely. I'm definitely gonna smoke some. Uh, Mary, fuck, kill, gas mask, uh, blunt bong. I'm going to. Uh, well, I'm gonna marry a. Poof. <laughs> I'll marry a blunt. <sighs> no, don't kill the gas mask. No, I'll, I'll fuck. I'll <laughs> fuck that gas mask. Because <laughs> like you're probably gonna get way higher with the gas mask than you with the bong. Put a bong head, a cold bong head, an ice bong head. Come on, Ed. What do you say? Uh, it's for this uh, the time of year. It all. Throw it on. 
Let's throw it on. Um, all right, then. I think that's the rundown. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we'll be back in Chicago next week, but there's one more rundown tomorrow. Go tune in for that. We will uh, see you next time.